This is what a game changer looks like. Take a look at this rifle. In its heart, it's an AR-15. But isn't that interesting? You don't see the typical AR-15 stock. You don't see the typical AR-15 configuration. But you do see the typical AR-15 upper. This particular one, 762 by 39. We're here at Ares Defense to look at a rifle that I think is absolutely going to rock the industry. And Jeff, tell us how an AR-15 morphed into this gun. Well, Michael, it's kind of funny. You know, this started out as a, uh, back before the, the original sunset of the first assault weapon ban, uh, we didn't think it was going to sunset. We thought we're all going to be stuck with something different yeah. than what we grew up shooting. And um, so we started taking a look at, well, how can we conform to the legislation that we thought was going to go permanent? And that's where it started. Well, as we all know, it's, you know, it did sunset in September of 04. And uh, uh, we, we kind of kept working on the design um, and said, you know, what we grew up shooting was a traditional rifle. Right, absolutely. Um, and we kept refining the design. We've actually redesigned this, this rifle about four different times to get the ergonomics exactly how we wanted. But things that were very important to us is capitalizing on that all-weather, uh, you know, weatherproof and, and durability of the America's longest serving infantry rifle, the M16, and all of the AR-15 spin-offs that are out in the industry, all the accessories. So part of what was important to us, not just the traditional rifle design, we wanted to use AR magazines. We wanted to be able to drop any AR upper for caliber conversion purposes or modularity onto a push pin type lower receiver. Now when you feel this stock right here, what you're feeling, it's very similar to an 870. Right. And I think that's that's probably, if you could say most common gun in America, 870 would certainly be in the running for it. A absolutely. An 870 shotgun is probably the, the most ubiquitous uh, shotgun in the world. And it's such a natural feel, we had to go with it. And here, safety is here. So yep. again, push button safety very similar to yep. the 870. Exactly. It's your push pin. Charge is like an AR-15, so it's your, your traditional charge. Doesn't interfere with your hand at all, so you don't get slide cut. This is literally, it takes every AR upper out there. Uh, so if you, for example, we are doing them in 5.56 and 76239 and 22 Rimfire. Um, but say you have a 6.5 Grendel or a 458, you may want to caliber convert it. You put your bolt into our carrier, put your upper onto our lower, and you've got that caliber. First thing I said, I walked up to the booth, I said, I said to Jeff, Where'd the buffer tube go? So think about, a, I guess it's fair to say, a semi-auto shotgun, the way mm -hmm. many times semi-auto shotgun, you're gonna have some connection here back to a recoil spring. Absolutely. So you don't need the buffer tube, it's going down to here. Sure. And an interesting point, and we'll maybe in a minute talk to, talk to Ken Flood, is it redirects recoil. I mean, granted, the 7.62 is not gonna knock you on your butt, but you know, you're shooting a 458 SOCOM, 458 SOCOM recoils. Oh, I mean, there's recoil in the gun. You're gonna see a different recoil impulse. Another thing, because this is a traditional line stock, mm -hmm. you're not having to raise your optic. Correct. You know, Absolutely I've seen here right. the optic sits more like on a traditional rifle. Mm -hmm. The other thing is it doesn't weigh anything. What's the weight on this, this gun here? This carbine is 5.7 pounds. We wanted a super light so that um, ladies, smaller stature people could shoot it very comfort comfortably. You can carry it for long periods of time in the field. Um, you know, we went with a one in nine twist barrel, so you can yeah. fire 55 grain and 62 grain ammunition. Um, we kept the direct gas system <clears throat> of, a, of a standard AR-15. Let me pull this hand guard. Now this one's a 5.56 caliber, but we wanted to keep a direct gas tube because you keep center line thrust on your bolt carrier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're not influencing your barrel when you shoot it. Your most accurate uh, semi-automatic rifles are gas tubes, center line thrust. Yes, yes, very much so. Yeah. So if you happen to be a hunter, say, look at this, you got a 5.7 pound rifle, because you're looking at an AR platform, it remains, for all intents and purposes, indestructible. Yep. It's weatherproof. 762 by 39, which is a great, let's say, white-tailed deer, hog-level cartridge. Sure you is. can carry this thing all day. And you know what? There are jurisdictions that are a little scary. Yep. There are jurisdictions that amazingly ban guns based on cosmetic features. This is a traditional rifle. So that's why when I came into this, I said I think it's a game changer. I think it's a game changer because it feels like a great gun. 
And the thing that really shocked me, Jeff, MSRP. Yep, MSRP starts at 865, of course your street price from your dealer will be better than that. Um, the, uh, the important thing for us also was, was we wanted our customers to be able to exercise their Second Amendment rights and be able to own this firearm in all 50 states, so we, we believe we've done that.